Hey guys, what's up? It's Rebecca Louise and welcome back to another amazing workout from here Mykonos in Greece. You are gonna feel the burn in the next 15 minutes. Oh yes, we are working head to toe or toe to head and you're gonna feel that burn. So make sure that you hashtag I can feel the burn Rebecca after you've done the workout and of course subscribe to this channel for so many more amazing workouts. So if you're ready, we're gonna start off, we're gonna get right into it. We're gonna warm up those legs first. So what I want you to do is do a nice squat and then squeeze up. So those knees are going out to the side. We're gonna be going through this whole 15 minutes together. So you are gonna feel amazing. Yes, you're gonna get those results, but the results, guys, they're at the end of the video. You can't do one or two minutes and see that burn and feel it. You're gonna work all the way through to me and we're gonna do this together. So if you are brand new to this channel, then don't worry, I'm not just gonna teach you how to do a squat and then let you guys do it. We are doing this all together. And of course, if you are brand new, make sure you do subscribe to the channel so that you see all these incredible videos. Okay, so let's take it down. Try and get a little bit lower in that squat. And then as you come up to the top, you're gonna squeeze those glutes. Yes, we are gonna be burning the glutes, the quads. You're gonna get an ab workout in. You're gonna get some cardio in as well. I'm a believer that mix of cardio and strength training is gonna get you great results. Okay, so squeeze up. Take it lower for me. Let's go, guys. Let's pump it and smile. Always smile, even if you feel like you're not quite enjoying the workout and you can feel that burn, that smile is gonna release these endorphins. Okay, so we're gonna take it down, we're gonna hold. So really push those knees out to the side, sit back and we're gonna pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, take it back into where we started. Let's pick up the pace a bit. We're gonna add that cardio in because cardio, guys, is gonna burn more calories during the workout and then the strength training. So when we're working those muscles, it's gonna burn calories throughout the day. So we wanna mix those two together. And if you want the perfect combination, then make sure you check out my 30 day get fit plan. All the details in the link below with recipes, motivation, everything that you guys need. Okay, last set, let's take it down. Pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, we're gonna take it for a run on the spot. That's it. Come on guys, now pump those arms. And if you get your arms moving as well, you're gonna burn more calories. So people often ask, well, how many calories do I burn per workout? Well, it all depends on how hard you're gonna work. We're gonna lift those knees up. Let's go, we've got 10 seconds, guys. Really breathing in and out. Don't take any breaks. We're gonna go the whole way through for five, four, three, two, one. Okay, take it down. We're gonna hold into that squat. Take a nice big breath in. And as you breathe out, sit a little bit lower. One more time, breathe in and take it out. Okay, shake out those legs. We're gonna keep moving though. What I want you to do is you're gonna do a curtsy lunge. You're gonna push those arms up to the top and you're gonna kick out to the side. So you take it back, push those arms up and then squeeze those glutes as you do that kick. Now the key here is when you push those arms up to the top, you feel like you're using weights and you can use weights if you want to or you can just do it along with me. Adding in that weight is gonna increase that resistance. And let's go, we're gonna pick up the pace. We've got it now. Use that core strength as well. Remember, this is a total body workout. So even if you think you're just using your legs, you're gonna be working your whole body. And let's take it down. See if you can get a little bit lower. Squeeze those arms up to the top. And we've got three, and two, and one. We're gonna take it over to the other side. Down we go. You push those arms up to the top. As you lift up, you squeeze those glutes, tuck those hips underneath, and then take it down. You've got this, guys. You're looking fierce, you're looking awesome, and you're looking strong. So just keep pushing through with me. Remember that 20% is the fitness, 80% is nutrition, and 100% is gonna be your mindset. So where is your head at today? Are you thinking that you can do this? Or if you think you can't, you are probably right. So after three, I want you to say, I can. Ready, one, two, three, I can. Good job, guys. Make sure you're saying that with conviction. We've got three to go. Two, and one. Okay, take it back to that jog on the spot. We are gonna do five tuck jumps together. Modified version is you're gonna bring one knee up at a time. Okay, you're gonna really go for it with me. We're gonna bring both legs up. Three, two, one, let's go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, take it back in that jog. Awesome stuff, everybody. Looking great. Okay, are you ready to work those arms? Take those arms out to the side and just drop that heart rate down. Rotate those arms 
in small circles and then gradually get bigger. All the way up to the top, your heart rate's coming down and then making them smaller again. Oh, you're looking so good guys. We've already done five minutes. We crushed those legs. Now we're moving on to the arms. Up to that upper body. And let's do those arms forward. So really small little arm circles and then gradually getting bigger and bigger. And you're probably thinking, I don't know if I can feel it yet. Oh, trust me guys. That's why you don't want to quit now because those results are coming. Let's take it again small. Just look out those arms to the side. Make sure that those hips are tucked underneath. Give yourself a smile. You guys are doing incredible. Let's keep it going. Okay, we're gonna do small circles going backwards. Gently making them bigger. You can start to feel it now, right guys? Yeah, make sure you do hashtag I can feel the burn Rebecca after you've done this workout. You guys are crushing it. Take them really big, nice big arm circles. Keep those hips tucked underneath. And as you go forwards, we're gonna make them smaller. The last set, guys, let's stay strong. And let's take it here for three, two, one. Okay, we're gonna take it across. Use those punches. So whatever you felt today, maybe you've just woken up and you're doing this workout. Maybe you've had a, a difficult day and you just need to ooh, get some exercise in and work up a sweat. This is a great workout to do. And if you wanna add it into your 30 day get fit plan, oh my goodness, with the recipes and the motivation, you are gonna feel amazing. Okay, take it up to their diagonal and really use those abs, use those obliques to twist you. And just look out at that punch. Get it nice and strong. Bring those fists back in towards you. And let's go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, shake out those arms. We're gonna come down to the ground and working on those abs, okay? Abs and the shoulders as well. So hands directly underneath your shoulders. You're gonna come up onto your toes. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna have your hands and your legs nice and wide, and you're gonna come down. And you're gonna hold in a nice open plank. Squeeze those hips underneath, and we're gonna hold here for 10, nine, eight, seven. You've got this, guys. Keep going, stay nice and strong. We've got five, four, three, two, one. Nice work, everyone. Come down to your knees. We're gonna twist over, and we're gonna work those abs. One of my favorite exercises to do. You know me, I love an ab workout. So, your legs are gonna be lifted up to the sky. You're gonna slowly drop them down to the floor without your back coming off the ground. You're gonna bring one knee in at a time and then you're gonna extend up. So you have your hands behind your head because we're gonna lift those up in a minute, but come down as low as you can without the back coming off the ground. One knee in towards the chest at a time and then squeeze up to the sky. You've got this, so we're taking it nice and slow. Everything is controlled. We're gonna add that cardio in in just a moment, but I want you to keep working those glutes to get those abs to get nice and controlled. Now take it all the way down, lift that chest up. Same again, the chest is lifted, working a different part of those abs, taking it all the way down to the ground, one knee in a time at the chest, and squeeze all the way up. I'm liking it guys, you're looking good. Stay with me, stay focused. Take it all the way down, a little bit lower if you can. One knee in a time, and we're gonna whack it into that cardio. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Let's alternate. Really push those legs out. Squeeze, lift that chest up off the ground. You can do this, guys. We're almost there. Keep working those abs. <sighs> lift up that chest for me. Give me a smile. Say that you can. And let's count down together. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, nice job, everyone. You're gonna relax those hands down. You're gonna lift those legs up to the sky and you're gonna drop one leg down at a time. So just single leg drops. Now here we're working those lower abs. So we're working the upper abs too. We're getting some side oblique stuff going and we're just really working that whole abdominal area. Okay, we're gonna whack up that pace in three, two, one. That's it, switch it over. Now you've really got to crunch that back into the ground. So important that your back is not lifted. And let's go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, great job. We're gonna roll up. We're gonna come back up to standing. I'm gonna to start to work on those glutes. Okay, so shake it out. Come to the top of your mat. We're gonna take a nice forward lunge, okay? Now what I want you to do is you want to lean forward, okay? And we're gonna lift up and then take it down. 
So everything is in that supporting leg. So you're gonna push down into that heel and squeeze those glutes. I want the weight forward so that there's no feeling in the back of your toes, okay? You're just using it as support. So you're coming up and down. The weight is forward, pushing into that heel. As you get to the top, squeeze that glute. Yes, you've got it, guys. Remember, no weight in that back leg. Everything is in that front. If you want to use weights in this workout, you can. It's going to increase the resistance. No, you're not going to get big and bulky. You can do this. Okay, now we're going to take it down and hold. Try and lift that back leg up. 10, 9, 8, 7. Keep it going, guys. That's it. Squeeze those glutes. You've just got a few more to go. How much do you want it? 3, 2, 1. Okay, switch over to the other leg. Give it a little bit of a shake out. We have got less than five minutes to go. Let's keep on pushing through. So you're here. We're gonna lift up, take it down. Now you really need to lean forward here so that you're pushing down into that heel and that you're not using that back leg. So go down, squeeze those glutes. It's gotta fully extend to really get that full range of motion. Okay, I'm sweating. My heart rate is up. You guys are feeling it too. We're gonna to stay with this together. Those results are at the end and you can make it happen. Let's keep going. Squeeze, fully extend, push down into that heel. Really important, guys. And let's hold it here. We're gonna lift up, top pulses. You've just got 10 of these to go. Really squeeze, and we're gonna go into some cardio. So take a nice big breath in here. We've got five, four, three, two, one. You're gonna switch over to that other leg, and we're gonna do repeaters, okay? So nice and low, and let's bring it in. Come on, guys, pump those arms. How much do you want it? Every single movement that you do, the better that you do it, the more calories that you're gonna burn. The better the results are gonna be, and the better you're gonna feel. Let's go for 10 seconds, guys. Come on, really punch it in. Use those arms. We've got five, four, three, two, one. Straight over to the other side. No rest. Down we go. Really get low into that supporting leg. Feel it, guys. Really push it. You are doing incredible. You've got five seconds left to go on this side for five, four, three, two, one. Okay, shake it out, guys. Take a nice big breath in and breathe out for me. And let's take it back into the running on the spot. I know, you thought that you were gonna get a rest. Oh no, you don't get results with rest. We've gotta keep on moving those legs. So this is the time, taking some water, taking some hydrate, Make sure you've had your pre-workout before. I have a post-workout too. Everything is on my nutrition plan. So if you want to follow my plan, then just check out the website, all the details in the link below. Okay, we're going to take it nice and wide. You're going to have your feet out to the side. You're going to do a plie squat, squeeze, and then lift up. So take it down, and then lift up, and then over to the side. That's it, nice and good, guys. You're doing incredible. We want to keep on moving that body. This is just a time where your heart rate gets to come down a little bit. <sighs> Breathing in and out for me, just over to the side. Now let's take it down into that plie squat. We're gonna work a little bit on those calf muscles. So everything is tucked on underneath, and then we're just lifting up that heel. <sighs> take a nice big breath in. <sighs> just imagine that you're here with me in Mykonos, doing a nice workout in the sun. This is what you can imagine, guys, right? Because you guys are going to be getting ready for your vacation. Maybe you want to go on holiday somewhere. It's your wedding coming up. These workouts are going to help you get there. Now, let's take it a little bit lower. And both legs. We've just got 10 seconds here. Really squat down. Nice and high on those toes. For three, two, one. Okay, shake out those legs. We're going to take it into those arms, okay? Really working on those shoulders. So you're going to have your hands out in front of you. And all you're going to do is you're going to squeeze back and then take it forward. Now, even if you don't have weights here, it's really important, you're still gonna get a great burn as long as you squeeze that back together. So that's what we wanna do. We are gonna squeeze. Make sure those knees are out to the side. Everything is nice and straight and bring it out. Now we're gonna hold here and we're gonna pulse. Just pulse it out to the side, squeeze that back together. You've got less than 60 seconds to go. We are gonna crush it. This last 60 seconds, guys, it's gonna have you feeling amazing, but you've gotta continue. We've got 10 seconds left here, so really think that you're pushing something against your back. That is where, if you're not using weight, you're still gonna get that resistance. For three, two, one. Okay, back to jogging. Are you ready? We're gonna do five tuck jumps together. Remember, the modified version is one knee at a time. Let's go. We've got five, four, three, 
two, one. Bonus, let's go for another five. We've got five, four, three, two, one. Let's take it to some star jumps. Oh yes, we're gonna crush it. This last 30 seconds, I'm gonna get you feeling amazing. You're gonna be sweating, but you've gotta keep on pushing through. Let's take it across for the last 20 seconds, guys. Drop that heart rate down. Take it nice and slow across. We're getting slower. Take a nice big breath in for me. Inhale and exhale. And let's go. Last 10 seconds to the front. Are you ready? Let's go. For 10 seconds, guys. Come on, punch it fast. The last 10 seconds, you can make it. Just imagine it's your first 10 seconds of the workout. We've got five, four, three, two, one. And release those arms. Give yourself an amazing pat on the back. You guys did incredible. Thank you for working out for me today. If you've got any requests for workouts that you want to see, make sure you just drop it in the comments below. My name's Rebecca. You can find me on Instagram and Facebook, Rebecca Louise Fitness. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye. Thank you.